Done. Hey, babe, come check out the table. Ugh, boring. You should put a live edge on it or something. But you told me you wanted straight edges on it. Well, not anymore. Ugh. Well, you heard the lady. Gotta give this thing some live edges. So let's talk about what live edge lumber even is. So when a tree is cut down with the intent of turning them into boards, there's a couple of different ways that they can cut them. One way is they can make it all square edges, which is usually what you see in typical buildings. The other is consecutive horizontal cuts within the log, leaving the curvature of the tree on either side of that board, which is typically called slabs. The slabs have been in style for custom furniture and bar tops, what, like countertops, absolutely everything since the dawn of time. Um, and it's still in style today. Obviously, a lot of people still use it. So in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to carve your own live edge on any straight edge board. Okay, so to carve your own live edge, there's only a couple things that you need. You need a pencil, and you need a flap disc like this one. I like to use 60 grit, but you can use any sort of shaping disc, anything that fits on a mini grinder, and will take away the material very quickly. Um, also, you'll need your mini grinder, and depending on how deep you want to make your cuts, um, a skill saw comes in handy for that as well. Before we start going and just hacking away at this thing, let's see what the wood is telling us. And if you look really closely, you can actually read it, and it will tell you where to make your live edge. See these growth rings here? They follow the original curvature of the tree. So you can just kind of play with that. So you can see how the growth rings swoop in here really hard. I'm going to take a deep cut of that using my skill saw. So when you're using your circular saw to do this, you need to try to make the worst cut you possibly can. So I usually start going in towards the table a little bit and then pushing that out towards the outside of the table and that'll give you that curved effect. Okay, now here comes the fun part. Now that we have that curved to the table, now we can take the mini grinder and start making it look like a real live edge. So you see these growth rings here? We definitely want to follow those growth rings when we're carving. So this little section at the end will have an undercut and then I'm going to gradually go to an overcut and we'll see how it looks. So visualizing this live edge can be really hard when you're first starting out and when I first started doing this what I would do is I'd look up pictures of live edge dining room tables and then I'd be able to kind of see what the live edge looks like and sort of replicate any sort of live edge that I wanted to achieve. Um, so now I've, I've done it so many times that I can just kind of wing it and make it look however I want it to look at the time. Um, but you can definitely, you know, look up some pictures of live edge dining room tables and just try to somewhat replicate um, how you want it to look. I'm pretty happy with the way that this looks so far, so I'm just going to leave it for now, go do the other side, and then we'll come back and clean this side up after that other one's done. Same thing, just going to follow those growth lines. Definitely have fun with this part because, you know, you're the artist now. You can make that live edge look however you want it to look. So just have fun, take your time, and just enjoy trying to carve something naturally shaped. Be 
Okay, so our live edge is carved and everything's looking awesome, but something that I forgot to mention before was that you will need a orbital sander to clean up all the grinder marks that was left behind. So I usually work my way up from 120 grit to 220 grit for the live edges and just being sure to get rid of all those little grinder marks and get in those nooks and crannies. And you'll also notice that it really smooths everything off and gives it that natural look at this point. This is a step that you must take, otherwise it looks very, very rough. But after you do this, it's starting to smooth off and it looks awesome. Well there you have it, that's how you turn a straight edge into a really cool looking live edge and definitely have fun with this, you can use it in so many different applications. Um, if you're into this sort of thing, definitely check out some of our other videos as well. We'll also have a um, full tutorial on this project, a full dining room table build if you want to know how to do it. Um, thank you so much for watching, now I'm going to go see if the missus is happy with this. Hey babe, come look at it now! Yeah, I don't know. I think I like the square edges better.